Okay, so today I want to talk about which gel ammo is best for your gel blaster. And sounds like an easy question, but it's not. There's going to be so many variables and so many different things that, um, like, so many different uh, aspects of, you know, what type of blaster you have and and um, what ammo works best for that particular blaster. I found some blasters really love the milkies, others really like the orange um, balls. So, I mean, there's, I, I don't know there's going to be a cut and dry one solution answer to the question. Um, but what I can do is at least compare some of these gel balls and see, see, you know, whether there's like differences in dimensions, shape, weight, all that kind of stuff. Um, all right, well, let's start. All right, so probably the first thing and the easiest thing to do is to just measure the dimensions. So I've got a few milkies here. Let's see how we go. That one is exactly 7.0. Okay, so they're all... They're all pretty consistent. Let's have a look at the blues. Now these go by uh, various different names. It is hard to get a, a good measurement because they do squish down a bit. Uh, 765. That's larger than I would have expected. And they all seem to be pretty accurate. I'm just going to go back to this Milkies again because I'm curious now. Yeah, they are. They are significantly smaller. I think... Yeah, when I measured it the first time, I might have had too much... Too much squash on them, maybe. It's, very, it's more difficult than I thought this would be. Um, they are definitely... About 7mm. That's interesting. Um... So the so the milkies are already significantly smaller than the blue meanies or the blues, whatever you want to call them. Tangerine or orange, I think they go by the name Tangerine Terminators in some circles. Seem to be a seven point seven. Uh, I don't want to put too much squash down on them. There you go. That's seven point. Seven point six, maybe. Yeah, call that a seven point six. And they're all, at least of the ones that I've selected here, they're all fairly consistent around the 7.6 mark. Try the green meanies or the greens or whatever you want to call them. I don't want to have so much tension on them that I can pick them up. I just want them to slide through the caliper without too much friction. So the greens, 
Seems to be around 7.5. This is very interesting because I wasn't expecting this much deviation in sizes between the different colours. And the clears. Are about a seven, seven point five to seven point six. Yeah, so, interesting, they're all very close but slightly different sizes, the, probably the, the, the big difference is in the milkies, the milkies are definitely smaller than all of the others, and I wonder if that is why They tend to be a bit harder and pack a little bit more of a punch. So they're just, just over seven, just over seven millimeters in diameter. Yeah, there we go. I can pick it up at 7.08. Interesting. So there's about these, the rest of these are about half a millimetre, uh, a bit larger in diameter than the Milkies. Okay, so now I'm going to attempt to weigh the balls. So I think the easiest and most accurate way to do this is to weigh 10 balls at a time and divide that by 10. So we've got the milkies first, weighing in at 1.7 grams. The blues, weighing in at 2.4 grams. The greens, weighing in at 2.4 grams. The clears coming in at 2.4 grams, and the oranges weighing in at 2.5 grams, and the, the scale actually just kind of flipped back to 2.4 grams just as I cut the camera. Um, so it's safe to say all of these are, are about 0.24 of a gram each ball. And the milk is 0.17. So the milkies are the smallest and the lightest of the group. But what difference will that make in firing? Hmm, I don't, I don't know. Let's find out. Alright, so the first test that I'm going to do is, as always, the chrono test. Uh, i got the mag full of the blue balls. And I'm running a... Uh, it's a it's UMP with um, a Gen 8, standard Gen 8 gearbox in it. Um, I figure Gen 8's the most common, so I'll use this as my test setup for all the balls. And then we might look at other blasters later. Obviously, I mean, this is going to... It's going to vary from blaster to blaster. I know some blasters like... Some gels better than others. I know, uh, I mean, 
My Mark 12 loves the Milkies, but I know some other people, uh, their blasters don't like the Milkies. Anyway, let's get on with it. Let's do some, uh, do some tests. I'm going to prime the mag a bit. All right, there we go. 188. 200. 97. 204, 198, 208, 208, 208, 204, 211, 208, 210, 209. All right, so I think we can safely say on the standard J8 gearbox, we're pushing about two tens, two oh eights, two nines, around that area, around two tens with the blues. All right, next up we've got the greens. Ooh, battery low. Well, <laughs> we'll sort that out. All right, fresh battery in there. Uh, chrono, here we go again. Two oh seven, two oh eight, two oh nine, two oh eight, two oh seven, two twelve, two oh five, two oh six. 207, 213, 195, 212, 204, 205, all right, that's pretty consistent, um, more or less the same as the blues, maybe if you wanted to get finicky they might have got a touch higher FPS, but more or less the same. All right, now we got the mag loaded up with the orange balls. These are one of my favorites. 214, 214, 210, 216, 214, 207, 214, 214. Very consistent, except for that one, obviously. <laughs> yeah, as soon as I open my mouth. 218, 217, 215, 217. I think that's enough from that. The orange balls, smidgen higher FPS than the greens and the blues. Interesting. They, I, I mentioned they were my favorite. Um, I've never actually done a back-to-back -back comparison like this before, but just, I don't know, from the feel of them and just shooting them, I've always liked the orange ones. Uh, as you know, one of my favorites. I, if I buy a lot, I usually buy a lot of the orange or the milkies. Uh, it's just my personal opinion. I like the orange and I like the milkies uh, for various different blasters. But generally, I find for my standard blasters, I like I put the orange ones in. Um, I'm rambling now. All right, let's move on to the clears. All right, I've got a mag full of clears now. Now, I've never used clears before. So, um, I got these purely for this test. Yeah, here we go. 208. 219. 209. 215. 213. 210. Uh, no, I've got the angle right. 216. Oh, I think I'm shooting too low and they're ricocheting out. Sorry. My bad. 214. 213. 216. 215. 214. 
Was that a 222? Did I say 222? That's the highest so far, I think. So, I think the, these clears are pretty much on par with the orange balls in terms of FPS, average FPS. I apologise during that the course of that test. I was I was shooting a little bit awkwardly and so I was impacting a few off the off the side of the chrono and making the readings a little bit odd. But, uh, if you're not familiar with how a chrono works, you've got to you've got to get them straight down the barrel otherwise it doesn't read properly if it impacts inside the barrel you get that error it says time out and some other things anyway moving on now um last but not least i've left them to last for a reason because they are the anomaly the milkies they're smaller and lighter than all of the other balls so if i was to take a stab in the dark i'd probably say they're probably going to get the lowest fps of all of the balls um is that good or bad uh I don't know, we'll, we'll find out, I guess. Alright, here we are. Now we have... Me running into... The... Tripod. Okay, now we have... A mag full of milkies. Two thirteen. One ninety nine. One one ninety eight, one eighty six, two oh seven, one sixty seven, one ninety nine, two hundred, two oh eight, two hundred, two oh three, two oh eight, two oh one, two oh three. 215, okay, that's interesting. I was going to say, these are, you know, hitting around the 200 mark, high of 210, but there's an anomaly. 212. 209. 209. 203. Alright, so... The milk is, uh oddly inconsistent um so they seem to be they can hit the high the high 200 or oh, well, i say high the you know the within the 210s to 220 region but more often than not they seem to be yeah, 207 205 Seem to be mostly in the sort of 190s to 200 area. So, that was a 212. A 185. 206. 210. So they can get up into the 210s, but they also dip down as low as the 180 mark there. And... I guess being that they're smaller and not as tighter in the barrel, you kind of expect that they're going to have a lower FPS. Also, because they're the lightest of the bunch, that would kind of offset, because I think you'll, if you've got a lighter ammunition, you should have a higher FPS. So they're lighter, but not as tight. Uh, it's going to be interesting I tell you, when we uh, take it outside and do some long-range testing to see what sort of effects they have but we'll get to that okay if you've made it this far I applaud you um, I really want to get out and do some distance some range testing on the different balls I want to get the balls into different blasters and and see how different balls go in different blasters but we're already like at a 20 minute long video and <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to put you guys to sleep just yet. So this is going to have to become a two-part uh, series on the gel ball. <laughs> Sorry, guys, but uh, 
hit the subscribe button, uh, go to the link below, buy me a coffee, and uh, when the next video comes up, you will be the first to know, uh, so we can go and do some range testing on the different balls. All right, peace out.